Now listen, I don't mind WrestleMania being too long. Hell, I even enjoy it. It's a spectacle. But this next one just took the absolute piss. That being said, we have WrestleMania 34. As I said before, absolute spectacle of an event, but at the same time, it went on for far too long. And the pre-show highlights was Matt Hardy winning the Andre the Giant Battle Royal. We also had Finn Balor taking on Seth Rollins and The Miz, with Seth Rollins going out on top for the IC title. Charlotte Flair beat Asuka in a match that no one saw that result coming, and it's quite a shock still to this day. Jinder Mahal won the US title in a match that once again no one asked for. Rousey and Kurt Angle vs Triple H and Stephanie was far better than anyone thought it was going to be. It's a testament to Ronda Rousey. The Bludgeon Brothers beat the Usos and The New Day in a triple threat tag team match. And boy oh boy, the John Cena and Undertaker segment went on for far, far too long. Bringing Elias into the mix as well. Daniel Bryan made his return to action with a tag team match for Shane McMahon against the team of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Alexa Bliss and Nia Jax fought for the women's title over a bullying storyline, which is always good for WWE. And AJ Styles beat Shinsuke Nakamura in a match that everyone thought was going to be match of the night, ended up being far from it. And Braun Strowman and a child won the tag team belt, and once again a match that everyone will very quickly seem to forget. And then Brock Lesnar beat 12 barrels of piss out of Roman Reigns. Always fun to watch, but quite a difficult watch. And there we have it. WrestleMania 34 is in the bag. We'll see you soon.